hating other women does nothing for anyone. And if you know anything about energy, and if you don't, I'm going to learn you something today. If you want to see someone's elevation, you must send them love. You must show them appreciation. You must love them. If you cannot love these people, if you cannot send these people love, then you need not have their name come out of your mouth. Peace and prosperity. This is Asaya and welcome back to Earth's Feminine. If you're new here, welcome and this is the channel where you can come to learn all about primal feminine energy, the feminine energy that existed here on this planet before colonization, before all of the programming and conditionings of the modern matrix that has caused us to have perceptions and beliefs about feminine energy within ourselves as women and within the collective that are misaligned with the true nature of who we are. And in today's video, I want to talk about the internet's obsession with hating women and how this is serving as an opportunity for us all to number one recognize where we may be holding on to misogynistic beliefs and hatred towards ourselves as women if you are a woman and in general just based off of how you react to a lot of the propaganda that is in the media and a lot of the things we see online when it comes to women who are in relationships with powerful men or men that have influence, men that have impact. This video topic was inspired by a conversation that I had with someone that had some very strong beliefs and very strong words to say about the recent Jada Pinkett Smith interview that was released basically going deep into what's been going on behind the scenes in Jada Pinkett's life, um, how her relationship with Will Smith, her backstory, her trauma, all of these things. She had some very strong words to say about this woman. And one of the things that she said was uh, she made a joke, which was how the conversation came up in the first place. And the joke um, was ignited by somebody who was walking past us. They had on a Tupac t-shirt and she made a joke saying, Tupac didn't love you, Jada. <laughs> and then she proceeded to basically just bash how much she dislikes Jada, how she's a narcissist, how... She doesn't deserve to be with Will and all of these things. And the only thing that was going through my head was like, who are you? Like, who, what gives you the permission or what gives you the right to have such strong opinions about somebody that you don't even know or that you don't even have a relationship with? Um, and then I started thinking back to not just Jada Pinkett, but when all of these rumors and allegations came out about Majorie Harvey, which is Steve Harvey's wife, and how she was a homewrecker, and she's a gold digger, and she's the this, and she's that. Basically, like, all of this propaganda, right, coming out about this woman and her relationship with this man. Then I started thinking back to the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial and how that was just a huge opportunity for so many people to drag Amber Heard through the mud and how she's a narcissist and she's such a horrible person and all of these things. And it just gets to a point where at some point you have to sit back and really just observe 
what's going on. When I watched that interview with Jada Pinkett Smith and I saw everything that she was sharing, I was listening to everything that she was sharing, and then I went into the comments and I saw all of these hateful comments about, oh, look at her fake crying and, oh, you know, she's a really good actress, you know, acting out all of those emotions. And when I was reading those comments, it literally took me back to when I was in my toxic narcissistic relationship years ago, whenever I started expressing myself about the things that I was going through. And even when I would listen to this person and how they would react to people expressing emotions, they would almost always say that they were fake crying and they were fake tears And they weren't even able to connect to what I was experiencing emotionally. Going through those comments and reading those comments, I'm thinking about the also the comments towards the Majorie Harvey situation. I'm thinking about the comments towards the Amber Heard trial and Johnny Depp trial. And I'm like, where is the internet getting this permission to just drag women the way they're being dragged online? And I don't care what these women have done. I don't care, you know, what on paper, you know, is qualifying them to be these bad people. Why do we have, feel like we have the permission to drag it the way that people are dragging it? Why do we feel like we have the permission to bash and shame and and just come for people's neck today online especially towards women now I'm not saying that you can't be aware of someone's mental state mental and emotional state absolutely be aware of someone's mental and emotional state I did a video a little over a year ago talking about how Jada Pinkett Smith and that whole situation with Will Smith punching Chris Rock um was a perfect example of dark feminine energy gone wrong. And um, I actually will link that video into this video so you guys can watch and see what um, the breakdown that I did in explaining how to recognize when you are embodying a distorted expression of feminine energy. So specifically for Jada Pinkett Smith, what I see when I look at her scenario and everything that she's done, and mind you, when she was doing a red table talk and August Alsina was there and and like if you're a really psychic person, you can pick up on when there's some some stuff going on okay and I was always able to pick up on that that's why I never watched the red table talk okay I just never watched because I could pick up on the weirdness and the the things going on behind the scene so the reason that I say Jada Pinkett Smith is a perfect example of dark feminine energy gone wrong is because when a woman is very sensitive psychic and intuitive she will naturally attract situations and scenarios that cause her to delve into the other realm or these more mystical and unseen realms. This is what I consider the dark feminine initiation is going through these kinds of dark nights of the soul and attracting these experiences to where you have to connect to your divinity or else you will be sucked into the darkness of becoming psychologically unhinged, okay? So depression, anxiety, going through these different mental health issues are all symbolic of you being called into your dark feminine. And Jada Pinkett is a perfect example of that pre-initiation phase of becoming empowered in your dark feminine energy. Be aware and recognize that this woman has been through a lot. It may not be as much as the next person or it may not be as little. And she may not be innocent because, I mean, honestly, who's innocent? Who is fully innocent 
in this world. We have all in some way messed up and been imperfect. What I see is women finding these flaws within other women. And this is a really good way to be able to tell if you are a self-loathing woman and you have deep-seated issues in your own life that you have not dealt with and you are finding women who you don't even know, which are celebrities, women online, finding something to dislike about them and literally dragging all of those things that you dislike about them. And you know what's really interesting is the person that I was talking to that was going into like this long rant about how she how much she dislikes Jada Pinkett Smith by the end of her rant she said to me she said oh my gosh she reminds me so much of my mother and her mom was a narcissist like her mom was like literally like she tells me uh stories all the time about you know how horrible her mom was to her growing up and so really like I need y'all to reflect on really why these women trigger you so much why are these women triggering you so much okay because nine times out of ten it's reflecting something within you that you need to deal with that you need to heal that you need to accept um is actually the root cause of your dislike and your disdain for these women hating other women does nothing for anyone and if you know anything about energy and if you don't i'm gonna learn you something today you want to see someone's elevation someone's transformation and change you must send them love you must show them appreciation you must love them if you cannot love these people if you cannot send these people love then you need not have their name come out of your mouth You need not even mention them in conversations. You need not even notice their existence if you cannot send them love. Because when you send them all of that gossipy and hateful energy, that's not going to cause Jada Pinkett Smith or any other woman in your life to elevate. We need to start being very aware of the intention of certain entities that want to make sure that you do not evolve into your highest level of being, that you do not come into your feminine energy and be able to merge with the masculine in a healthy way, that you are stuck and stagnant. These entities do this through making sure you are pouring your energy into things that do not serve you, that make sure you are pouring your attention and your focus onto all the bad things about women and all the things you dislike about women. That is what is going to happen. And if you fall into that trap, which a lot of people did, okay, especially with the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial and now for, um, Uh, And now it's the Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith thing. It's like you cannot see the elevation in your own life if you are focusing on the detriment of others. And another thing I want to mention and make sure you guys are aware of is that y'all need to stop trusting the things that you see online and the things that are promoted to you online. Okay? The Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial was like my wake-up call to the truth that there are people who their main objective is to go online and to manipulate where people's energy goes and where people's energy flows to. And if you're a weak spirit, if you are a spirit that is not aware of these things, then you're just going to pour into whatever the propaganda and the media wants you to pour into. And let's not act like we don't know, you know, who controls a lot of uh, these news media outlets and uh, these uh, things that are promoted to us. Now, let's not act like we don't know. And if you don't know, please do your research. These entities do not want to see the merging and the healthy, aligned, and divine state of 
feminine energy and masculine energy. And you need to be aware of that. We are in a spiritual warfare, especially in regards to the feminine and the masculine. You need to be very aware and conscious of these things and recognize, be able to recognize um, and be aware of what somebody is going through when they're going through it and know how to send someone love. It is so important for men to defend and protect women because Marjorie Harvey and I don't know if that's how you pronounce her name but when all the rumors and everything like that about her was going on that got nipped in the bud real quick because her husband made sure that he came in and he defended her her husband made sure that he came and he he spoke for her her husband made sure that he protected her when a woman is by herself and she's going through things and they're dealing with rumors and things like that it's much more likely for people to you know not really care or or be understanding or this that and the third but when a woman is with a, a a man okay specifically a man of impact and influence This is where people have all these opinions and they want to be hateful and they want to be spiteful and they want to drag these women because all of these women were with powerful men. Amber Heard, Majory Harvey, Jada Pinkett are all with men that honestly a lot of women envy and wish that they were with these men. I don't know why they ain't special, okay? That's really when you get to the core of it is really what it is and that's why it's really important for men a man to come in and defend and protect his woman in a healthy way now as far as amber heard and jada pinkett goes i definitely think that they were both in that are both or were both i don't know i'm not in their life i don't know i only know what i'm i'm shown but it looks like that they are coming to terms with discovering and embracing their dark feminine energy. If these women weren't with powerful men, I really want you to ask yourself, would you care? Would you care? Would you care? Genuinely. Because I personally feel it's the fact that these women are with powerful men that everybody has or were with powerful men that everybody has an opinion or everybody had an opinion. The internet's obsession with hating women it must end and it's got to end i'm specifically talking to women in this video but we all know that there are men out there that literally make a career out of hating and bashing women so i'm i'm that's a lost cause i'm not even gonna try and oh save stop it don't stop doing that whatever but for the women that come to my channel the people that come to my channel because there are probably men that watch me too this is what i want you to remember and understand is that there is an agenda at hand you need to be conscious of where what you're pouring your energy into and stop going along with these narratives that encourage you to perceive a woman in a in a degrading light okay And start to really just get more used to having awareness and intelligence around what that woman might be going through. Or if it is just propaganda that is making this woman out to look like some kind of a demon so that you don't actually embody a lot of these qualities that these women represent. So that is what I have to say on that. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you are interested in working with me and becoming a part of the Earth's Feminine community, make sure you like this video, subscribe, sign up to the link down below in the description to be a part of my five-week intensive called Redemption. This is going to be the miracle codes to activating and regenerating your cells. This program is going to be all about the feminine connecting back to their bodies and how you can take back your sovereignty in your body. Okay, my loves. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Peace.